What's going on everybody? It's your boy Fearless here back at you with another tutorial So today we're going to be taking a look at the best way to slice and chop up your samples So you can get the best result every single time and it's a lot easier than you're probably thinking right now So without any further ado, let's jump into this tutorial So when you're first thinking about slicing up melodies and things like that, you might be thinking, all right, so we take a little chunk here, we take a different chunk here, maybe we split it around, maybe we move some things around, we put this here, we put that here, slice this up, maybe we duplicate it, bring this one forward, you know, slice that again, duplicate it again. No, there's a lot better way to do that. Like you can see, it sounds like crap. It's gonna take a ton of work to figure out something that actually fits well, and you just never know what you're doing. It's a lot of trial and error doing it this way. So there's a way better way of doing this, and let me show you how to do that right now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna load in a simpler here, and what you can actually do is you can drag your clip, boom, right into simpler, and it's ready to go, all right? So you'll notice that there's this little slice option down here. And it's really cool so if we zoom in here we can kind of see that it's slicing this up into different segments okay so since we have different segments here now you can just start playing on your keyboard but you notice these segments are super duper small and it's not really sounding good how the hell are we gonna make a melody out of this we're gonna have to like just keep going with it it'll never sound right so what you can do is actually change the sensitivity right here so let's zoom out a little bit first all right, we're gonna start playing. We're gonna start turning it down until we get it to a spot where it starts to sound better. So we might even go a little bit lower than that. Let's let's keep going here. All right, that looks to be good. So let's take a look at some of these settings before we go ahead and lay something down. In fact, I might turn the sensitivity down even a little bit more. There we go. So that each thing is playing a whole section of this melody. Okay, so what you'll notice is we have transients here, beats, region, or manual. So when you do the beats thing, it's basically going to take the same amount of time, like one, two, three, four. It's going to split it down into different beats that way. And you can change how many divisions it is right here. Okay, transients is what we just did earlier. You play with the sensitivity and it's going to find where the different transient spots are in it. And then you have some other options here. Manual is going to let you draw them in by yourself. And region is going to take a bigger region of it. So we're going to stick with transients. That's the one I like to play with the most. Okay, so if you're, if you're playing along with this and you're noticing some of the things aren't exactly on where they should be, you can actually zoom in here and you can move these little cursors a little bit. So maybe you need to line it up right here so that it transitions better. You can do that there, okay? Some other things that are really useful is you're going to have your fade in and your fade out. And you're going to play with those more once you start actually laying down the melody. You can, do a, you can put a little bit of the fade in on and a little bit of the fade out. We'll do that in a little bit here, and that's just gonna help each note transition even better. You have your transposition here. If you need to transpose your notes, you can do that right in that editor, super simple and easy. And you got a couple other options here as well. Most of this stuff I'm not using. Those are the main ones that I'm using, so we're gonna talk about just those. So let's go in and let's try to make some sort of a melody. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on my metronome here, and I'm just gonna play on my keyboard and come up with something crazy. And the nice thing about this is since we're playing it on the keyboard, we can come up with all kinds of different crazy little harmonies and melodies versus trying to cut, copy and paste and move this all around and hoping that it sounds good. We can play it on the keyboard and not even worry about doing all that extra work. So it saves us a big step. All right, so now that we got this basic little melody down, let's play with the fade in and fade out really quick. So you'll notice that it comes in really subtly and it doesn't sound that great. So let's just fade it in a little bit. Just a little bit sounds good. Now fade out, which is gonna fade out into the next note.
Awesome, so we're gonna freeze and flatten this and then we're gonna reverse it and see if that sounds good. Okay, and what happens when you reverse it is just like you think it would reverse. So what I'm gonna do really quick here is I'm going to move this part over because this is the last piece and move the rest of it over, okay? And we're actually just gonna get rid of this chunk. And now what's in the correct order, we'll duplicate that over and now we got the reverse going on here. So now what we can do is we can go back into this and we can play around with it again. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make the sensitivity higher so that we can get little intricate pieces playing now. All right, so again, a super simple thing laying over top of it, but all together it's gonna sound pretty decent. All right, so I'm not really feeling that. Maybe we'll go down 12 and see how that sounds. And then we could even go in here and change it and see if we can make it a little bit better. All right, so you can see we got a really cool pattern going on. We could adjust the volume, so do some stuff like that. And just like that, we have a dope ass sampled melody that we made super easy. So let's put some drums on this really quick. So basically what I did is I took this little melody here and I raised it up an octave, but then I also took it down two semi notes to kind of change up uh, the key that it was in. And I did the same thing for this. It was down one octave, but I took it down an extra two semitones to kind of change it. So now we got this. <laughs> All right guys, so that is the best way to splice and chop up your samples in Ableton. Now you know the dirty sauce and you can go in there and play around with the different settings and make some awesome melodies with those little tricks that I showed you. So if you're new to the channel guys, hit that subscribe button. We upload new tutorials every single week. And if you're stopping by again, you're already subscribed, you're freaking awesome. But anyways guys, leave a like on this video and I'll be seeing you again in the next one. Peace out.